You've probably seen this trick before. An upright jet of water and a ping pong ball balancing in it, if you've got a windless day. The trouble is, it's not awfully easy with a garden hose. You don't get very high jets of water and the thing falls out of it. It's not very stable. So you can do a better job if you've got a cork and a plastic straw. But it requires a bit of fiddling, so come with me into the kitchen and I'll show you how you set it up. Now this next bit is no more dangerous than making a cup of coffee, but it has a kettle that's boiling and that's got steam. So get an adult to help you. The other thing you'll need is one of these straws. It's hard and it's rigid. It's the sort that doesn't go soft in a hot drink. We're going to make it go soft in the steam of a kettle. Keep your fingers well away and hold the middle of the straw over that spout where the steam gets it. That'll soften the plastic and we want to move it up and down to get a good length softened. Now as it softens you can bring the ends together, don't go too fast or you'll kink it and then the water can't get through. But you notice it's bowing gently and we want to do that until the ends come together. Don't race it or you get a kink and you have to start again. Slowly all the way around and once the ends are together hold them there until they're cool. You can imprison its ends, if you like, while it's cooling. And while it is cooling, we'll do the cork. Here we are, that's a new one, but you can use one that's uh, out of a bottle if you want to, just as long as it's going to be a tight fit in an outside tap. And you probably have to shape it with a file. Here we go. That can take a while. It's quicker with sandpaper. But at any event, you want to end up with this sort of shape. It's a conical shape, and I know that that's going to fit inside a tap. At this stage, get yourself something like a file, or uh, a sharp point of metal anyway, and drill a hole all the way down from the middle of one end to try and make it the middle of the other. If you go a bit skew with, it won't matter. What you're after is a hole of about that size that just allows you to take the cooled straw and bang it in there. And make sure you go in the blunt end, not the sharp end of the cork. Here we go. It goes in there, through to the other end, and it's quite a tight fit. And that's ready now to be jammed into the outside tap. I've got one set up outside. I've really rammed that cork in there so it's a, a good tight fit. You can see why those ends have been made to come together when I turn the tap on. Because the water shoots out of the end of the straw and it acts like a jet. And the faster it comes, the more the jet uh, makes the straw bend down. And as it bends down, that water comes up more and more vertically. And that's what you want it to do. You want it coming up all round about like that, I suppose. Curiously enough, the taller the better, but we've got to turn the tap on and off until it comes down and the water's falling back on itself. That looks pretty good. You might have to wiggle the cork from side to side to make it go. Well, I've got three ping pong balls. I should be able to make one work out of three. Here goes.